Donna Schaefer's Lenten devotional for this morning is entitled Sufferings and Glories, and it's taken from Romans 8, verse 18, which says, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing to the glory that is to be revealed in us. Wow. Donna reflects, how many people have committed to the long haul of ending racism? We know it's a slog. We know it is God's destination for humanity. We know we were made by God to get along, to share the wealth, to realize our full humanity. We also know how lost we are how many generations it will take to equalize wealth or even to glorify every single child, no matter their address. Theologian Henry Nouwen said, the paradox of expectation indeed is that those who believe in tomorrow can better live today. That those who expect joy to come out of sadness can discover the beginnings of new life in the center of the old, that those who look forward to the returning of the Lord can discover him already in their midst. My favorite ways to end the sufferings of now are mapped by the glory that is to be revealed. They are a step a day, just one step each day. When I am done apologizing for my microaggressions of the day, I find some micro-kindness, and then I dust them off. I might send a friend's resume around again, or make supper for my favorite single mother, or take up a long conversation with a person who said she had already done way too much. I might bolster and shoulder and lift. I might blow on the embers of my dimly burning sticks and see if I can get them to light once again. From flicker to flame, why not? So again, from Romans 8.18, I consider that sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing to the glory that is to be revealed in us. Let us pray. Set our feet on your path, O Lord, and remind us that big fires start as little ones. Don't let us overdo ourselves, and also don't let us underdo. In Jesus' name, amen.